we really like camping in the wilderness and in state parks that sometimes don't give us a sewer hookup. So in order to continue taking showers and washing our dishes, we handle our gray water with this 110 gallon gray water tank installed in the bed of our truck. I've also installed an RV outlet to the side of this tank, the exact same as you would have off the side of your RV. This allows you for easy dumping when you do reach that dump station. So let's talk about some of the components that you're going to need for the setup that we use, starting with the macerator pump. This is a Flowjet macerator pump. You can get them on Amazon or from a lot of hardware stores that will ship to you for about $180. As you can see, it's pretty lightweight, easy to use, and it comes with hookups automatically made for your RV. So I'm going to show you how this clicks on. So you're going to install your macerator pump just like so. Click it in, make sure it's on tight. Make sure your air inlet and clean out valve is closed. And then you're going to hook up your gray water line. We keep our gray water line, which is blue, always hooked up to this tank that we have in the bed of our truck. This tank will handle 110 gallons of water. Now this gray water tank, or this gray water hose, simply pulls out for easy storage and no mess. Now we'll walk it over to our macerator pump and hook it up. One of the things that I learned early on is that you want to have this little shutoff valve on the end of your hose here. That way you keep the gray water that's in the hose where it belongs. So now it's as simple as taking the end of your gray water hose and connecting it to your macerator pump, like so. Open up your valve and you're good to go. So this macerator pump runs on DC power, which comes from your batteries connected to the trailer. However, there are several different ways you can do this. I choose to use jumper pack. One because, well, I already have it with me in case we have a dead battery in the truck or in case the trailer batteries just take a dump on us. I've got a backup. But the nice thing about this is the macerator pump comes with these stripped wires right here ready to go. So I clamp on the positive and the negative and what I like about this particular jumper pack is it has an on off switch. Open your tank valve you are now emptying your gray water. Well guys, that's it. All you gotta do now is go to the dump station and get rid of that gray water. If you enjoyed our video, give us a thumbs up, click on that subscribe button. In some of our upcoming videos, we're gonna show you how to change a flat tire on the camper while you're on the road, and also what we do to get fresh water when we're camping in the wilderness with no hookups.